Let C be the subset of a complex plane defined by the equation modulus of Z plus 4 plus 2I equals 2. Questions. First, I want to sketch C in the complex plane. Then we want to find a point on C with the largest argument. Now recall, what do we mean by argument? If I take any non-zero point Z in the complex plane, we'll have polar coordinates. So, corresponding to Z, we're going to have a positive radius and an angle that we measure from the positive real axis. So, that angle, I'm going to call the argument of Z. Now, if we find a theta that goes with our Z, we get other angles by adding multiples of 2 pi. So for here, we're only going to consider arguments that are between 0 and 2 pi, including 0. Now, let's first sketch the graph of C. So we'll take our equation. I can represent Z as x plus i, y, where x and y are real numbers. X is the real part of Z, Y is the imaginary part of Z. We'll square both sides of our equation. Then the recipe is to compute the modulus squared. We take the real and imaginary parts, square them, and then add. So if I substitute X plus I, Y in for Z, okay, our real part's gonna be X plus four. Our imaginary part is Y plus two. So what we get will be x plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 4. And in the xy plane, this is the equation of a circle. The center, minus 4 minus 2, and radius 2. If we convert over to the complex plane, then it's still going to be a circle. The center is going to be at minus 4 minus 2i, and we have radius 2. So this is going to be the picture of C. Now, Let's use our picture to find the largest argument for points on C. So, draw our circle here. If I'm looking for arguments, what we do is start on the positive real axis. We start sweeping until we hit our circle. So the first point we'll hit will be at minus four on the real axis. In that case, the angle will be pi or 180 degrees. As we continue, we're gonna keep hitting points in the circle. So we'll stop when we get to this point Z here. Now, this line is gonna be a tangent line to the circle. So what we have is, if I take any tangent line to the circle, we draw in the radius from the center to the intersection, and that line and the segment that's representing a radius are gonna be at right angles. So the line going from, okay, through zero and Z, is gonna be perpendicular to the line going through Z and our center, which is minus two minus four I. With that, I can start filling things in. So I have a right angle here. We have a right angle here because this radius is gonna be parallel to the Y axis or imaginary axis. Then we note, if we draw in the line from the center to the origin, we get two congruent right triangles. Now, they both have right angles. They both have sides that are represented by a radius. And they both have a common hypotenuse. So that means we're going to have, okay, two out of three sides matching up, but we can use the Pythagorean theorem to get a third side in each case, and then they'll be equal. So I have two congruent right triangles which means if I want the largest argument, we take pi or 180 degrees, I add this angle here, and then I add this angle here, but these are equal. So we're gonna use pi plus twice that angle. Now, that means I just need to find what the angle here is. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna take this right triangle, pull it off of the picture, and then work with it in isolation. Now, the top leg has a length four, side leg has length two, so the length of the hypotenuse is gonna be square root of 20. 
Now, if I want to find this angle, well, we'll have the cosine of this angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or 4 over square root of 20. If I want the angle, I want to push the cosine to the other side as inverse cosine. That means our largest argument, which is between 0 and 2 pi, is equal to pi plus twice the inverse cosine of 4 over square root of 20. So if we push this into a calculator, we have 4.06888 radians or 233.13 degrees. So if we check this, okay, 233 degrees is bigger than 225 degrees. 225 degrees is going to be the angle that cuts this right angle here in half. So that looks like we have the right angle. Now, that's the largest argument. We want to find what z is now. So to get that, we're going to solve for x and y. Okay, so x is going to be r cosine of our argument. y is going to be r times sine of our argument. Our radius is going to be 4, because if you note, for z, okay, the distance from 0 to z is along this leg. But that's going to be the same as the length of this leg. So it's going to be a 4. If we put our angle in, we know we get minus 2.4 minus 3.2. So our z is going to be minus 2.4 minus 3.2i. If we want to check our work, we can see that this lives on the circle. So we put it into our equation for the circle. And then we note that our equation holds and that checks our work.